You don't pay unless we win. KTLA 5 Health Smart, bringing you the latest in medical research and state of the art treatments to help you live better and healthier. KTLA 5 Health Smart, weekdays at 9 a.m. on the KTLA 5 Morning News, sponsored by UCI Health. This week at California's number one RV dealer, Giant RV. Find over 1,000 RVs at red hot prices. This Coachman Pursuit Class A motorhome. Save 40000 off new. Yours for only six ninety four a month. Now at Giant RV. Nobody beats the Giant. Tracking Hillary and the dangerous tropical storm conditions it brings to SoCal. Continuing live coverage. Monday at a special time, 3.30 a.m. on the KTLA 5 Morning News. Right now at 6, Hurricane Hillary weakening overnight, but officials stressing the importance of being ready for anything. KTLA's Aaron Myers is live with more. Good morning. We're here in Sherman Oaks at Los Angeles City Fire Department Station 88, where you can still get sandbags. Er officials are urging people to take precautions. All the latest coming up. And although some of us are seeing shower activity already, it is nothing like what's to come later today. We're going to talk about the rest of this storm system coming up. And rain or shine runners braving the elements at the OC Chalk Walk for Children's Hospital. We'll take you live to Disneyland. Good morning and thank you for waking up with us this Sunday morning. I'm Pedro Rivera. And I'm Lauren Lister. We have a lot to cover for you today as Hillary heads towards SoCal. Here's a live look at Huntington Beach right now. As you can see, things are very calm there. Uh, yesterday, there were a lot of families getting uh, bags of sand to prepare for today. As we know, Hurricane Hillary is on the way. Overnight, the hurricane has been downgraded to a Category 1 storm, and it's expected to weaken even more before it hits us. But many officials across the area are stressing the importance And you need to know about the storm. We have live team coverage all across the region. You see our reporters there. You know, let's begin with Casey Montoya tracking Hillary's every movement this morning. Good morning. Yeah, and although it has weakened, so tropical storm force winds, in case you're wondering, 39 miles an hour to 73 miles per hour. Once it reaches 74, it's a category one. So this storm, we will see it become a tropical storm while you're uh, watching the news with us this morning, though. And that's what it is expected to make landfall as. But this is the current track right now. You can see where the cone is going and I'll explain the cone a lot of people asking this yesterday the cone is where this the center of the storm the eye of the storm could go just because your area isn't in this cone does not mean you are not going to see severe weather that is going to happen for a lot of us on both sides this is going to take a north northwest track but if it moves a little bit to the east or a little bit to the west then we're going to have to update our rainfall totals about what we are predicting today but you can see this is the track it is expected to take according to most of the models right now and we are going to start feeling the really big impacts of this as we head into the afternoon this is an hour loop the last hour on the max doppler and you can see orange county the inland empire desert communities already seeing some shower activity all the way down through San Diego. Diego County as well. Big areas of concerns are those desert communities today. A high wind warning has now been issued for that area you see. It's a brown shaded area. And then the tropical storm warning. Ventura County not in this anymore. It is for LA County and everyone else shaded in that red area. This is the future cast. The, re the yellows, the oranges, the dark greens. This is intense heavy rain and that's what we're expecting over the next several hours. This is 10 o'clock and you can see this big, big and a very strong rain moving through the area and it just continues. It's looking like we're not going to see any clearing today. It's just going to be heavy to light rain and notice off the coast, very heavy shower activity as well. This is not going to taper off until late tonight, but notice off the coast, still a lot of activity. Thunderstorms are likely today. Possibly th uh, we could see some water spouts or tornadoes. Of course, with those thunderstorms comes hail, heavy winds and lightning strikes. But again, this is unprecedented. We've never seen this before in our area, and we are definitely going to try and prepare you throughout the morning. As far as temperatures, if you have stepped outside this morning, feels pretty warm, and it is. This is how much warmer all of us are than this time yesterday.
today. Palm Springs, though, 15 degrees cooler as you are already seeing some severe storm activity. Flood watch in effect for everyone through.